So with New World just introducing a new weapon in the Void Gauntlet, it's going to take some time leveling that weapon up to a mastery level of 20 for sure. But today guys I'll bring you a few simple tricks in leveling it up as fast as possible. How's it going guys my name's DPJ and to give back to you guys I'm giving away 10k marks of fortune to be with a chance of winning these simply drop a like on the video leave a comment down below make sure you are subbed and have those notifications turned on. I will be picking a winner from the comments section so the more videos you comment on and support the more chance you have of winning and good luck everybody. So with the void goal that's been brand new to the game people will obviously be wanting to level them up. Thing is, if you are level 60 and your gear score watermarks are much higher than that 500, there's a good chance your Void Gauntlet gear score watermark will be real low. Around that 500 mark, you have it dropped from a level 60. So equipping it to level it up, let's say run against portal at those higher levels is going to be pretty hard to do. It's going to be pretty hard to level this up. But to be honest guys, there's much, much quicker ways to level them up and not just for the Void Gauntlets, every weapon, especially if you are a level 60. Because once you hit that level 60, the XP you get from enemies in terms of mastery XP for those weapons seems to scale a little different, meaning you can farm lower leveled enemies and still earn amazing XP towards those weapon levels. So firstly, you need to get your hands on a Void Gauntlet. As far as I'm aware, they are just a random world drop as is every weapon. Okay, so if you are a solo player here, the best place to do this is right here on the map. What you'll do here is you'll kite these enemies together, then just slay them as you can see me doing on screen now. And these give great weapon XP. I believe between 35 and 40 XP, maybe more, if you have increased XP in the area. But yes, this is why I went and I literally ran it about 10 times and got my weapon, uh, my Void Gauntlet to a level 9. I mean, that's pretty good if you ask me. But there are other farms within the game, which I would suggest if you do have a teammate who can run them with you or you can run them at the same time both leveling the void at the same time it will be much much easier So this next spot is more or less exactly the same, you kite enemies together, then slay them, you lead them up to the high ground here, then just slay them. So this location you can see on the map right here, there's actually two runs where you can kite more enemies together and I'll show you both if you're in a team, one runs one way, one runs the other way, you meet at the top, meet at the high point and slay the enemies and you just get tons of XP here. So yes, follow what I do on the screen now and get to work people. This next spot is a popular one, so be warned, there may be already people farming XP here, so you may not earn as much XP as we do in all the way it shares in this game. But as you can see, you run around this camp, kite the enemies back to the start and then just slay them. Like I said in the team, this will be much, much easier.
And this last spot today, guys, is more or less right behind the last farm I just showcased. So here, do the exact same. Run around this camp, kiting all those enemies together, as you can see me doing on screen now. Again, if you are in a group, it will be much, much easier because using a low leveled, unleveled Void Gauntlet to kill all of these enemies solo would be a bit of a pain. So if you are in a team or if you've got someone who can help you, it will be much, much better for you. But there we have it, guys. All these work if you are under a level 60, by the way, but weapon mastery XP seems to change once you hit a level 60. So it does become a little easier to level up those weapons. So yes guys, fans of the Void Gauntlet, I hope this helps you out. On that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more New World, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video, I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.